Hello and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. We are in the middle of trying to get our steam generator up and running while also combating uh, a lot of other things. <laughs> trying to get a uh, pipe injection going here for the coolant fluid. We are trying to fix this disaster down here. Uh, I, I really, at this point, I really don't know what to do to fix it outside of maybe building a steam turbine somewhere over in this area just to start sucking up some of the steam probably before this brine boils away and then our water lock is gone i mean we still have a manual airlock but still it'd be nice to retain that that water lock i think that might be what i have to do uh is just build like steam power over here maybe well, I'll think about that. Uh, let me deconstruct this stuff. If I do it, I'll do it right here and just get something up and running just for the sake of it. Uh, there's no main spline coming down here, though. It's all over here. So if I do something like that, I'm going to have to get a little funky with the wiring here, which is not ideal, but it is doable. <laughs> I guess we could hook it in that way. Not that I want to do that right now, but, you know, when we, when we get fully up and running over here, we'll have suits, so it's not like we're completely devoid of... Actually, you know, let's, let's just stop trying to repair all this stuff. Is there a quick way to turn off auto repair? I just want to disable it on everything that I can right now, because it's just going to waste resources, and there's just no reason for that. All right, we got some stuff getting delivered, some plastic getting taken out here. Uh, oh, you took your suit off. Okay, so that's what's happening here. So what we're going to do, we're just going to disable this building temporarily just so that they don't take their suits off because that's what's happening right now is they're taking their suits off. And that is a bit of a problem. Uh, I guess let's prioritize getting these deconstructed. Don't so like at least if we build a um what you call it a steam turbine. Well, no, the temperature is still going to be below one twenty five, so that's not going to work. Let's just cancel that. That's just a bad idea. Uh, the this ladder though, I still want to build that so we can get down in that direction. I guess we're kind of screwed. Like we have to rely on this system here, but I guess I want to up the priority. Well, this needs to drain out, so I can't, can't quite build this yet. What is he doing? He's injured. Moderate wounds. Disable auto repair on that. You know what? I need to disable this building too. So all these suits are just getting swept down here. Uh-oh. We got a problem. There we go. Get them out of there. Bail them out. All right. So if we don't do any of this here if we don't like walk through here and we don't walk through here because they're disabled then we shouldn't be taking off our suits and then if the suits don't get taken off we shouldn't have those issues that's the hope anyway let's see let's see what actually happens all right let's uh you know what we should do we should pop over to the other planetoids and see what's going on over there uh we have no food over here which is you know always a good time and growth is completely halted because body temperature is way too high. That's because we have, like, superheated water here going into that, which is uh, less than ideal, but we did what we had to do to try to get some of these germs out of here. Speaking of which, we need to turn this pump off and stop pumping in liquid for a little while. Uh, I think, well, I guess we can keep pumping it out into here for now, but... We're kind of overfilling it on that side. So we have to filter out some of this water and convert it to regular water. Because that's also problematic. I don't think we have any. Yeah, we just used up the last of our regular water. So let's take a look at. There's a couple things going wrong over here then. We need. Um, let's see. Is it a utility? No. Drawing a real big blank here right now. Refinement. I guess refinement would kind of make sense. Water sieve. Yes, it would be ideal to put this over here. 
I guess we go one over. We'll take the input. We could just go here. Do one of those. Pop a, pop a liquid pipe here. And then just pop this out here and tell it to <clears throat> drop out. And that'll take care of that. Uh, carbon dioxide is really starting to build up on the bottom of the base here. Actually, whoa, we are running really low on oxygen. This is uh, hugely problematic. I didn't realize how bad this was getting. So it's not just a food crisis. It's a uh, breathing crisis as well. So that is uh, definitely not good. We definitely need to uh, get this up and running here. Build this out of cobalt. Let's bridge that out. Hmm. Bit of a train wreck over here. I think we just deconstruct all this stuff. We don't need any of this anymore. I don't think, anyway. Then we can get, just go straight up here. Yeah, this can all come out. We're going to have to figure out this uh, breathing situation real quick. Um, I think we're going to have to do a pretty high priority build on this. Uh, at least get the water running first. Then we can worry about piping it up second. It's certainly quite problematic. Uh, what are we doing power-wise here? I do have to come across here and plug in. So let's put that priority nine as well. All right, let's really focus on getting that done. Let's pop over on this planetoid and just take a gander at where things are at. Looks like things are going, you know, pretty well overall. A lot of mixed gases in the area, but we're slowly digging into things and building them out. So that should be okay for the time being. We have plenty of food left. Well, I'm saying that like right now, but don't be stupid about this, guys. Make sure you can actually build it before you both get trapped on a single tile that would be terrible um yeah so i think we're okay over here right because we can we got some meal wood we got another excellent here we can harvest so we're not not completely hopeless over on this planetoid at least not right now all the water is draining out and it's draining out to to here and it's filling this up but that's fine that's not really really that much of an issue uh let's pop over here breathe it says breathability but we do have quite a bit of water here and power so we're we're pumping out plenty of oxygen if anything this is going to fill up with a little too much hydrogen some carbon's going to back up down here but we definitely don't have as big of a problem as we have over here like over here we we have like we got nothing we we let this go too far it's very possible we're going to be seeing some deaths pretty quickly here. There's just nothing, just nothing left. It's uh, quite shocking to me that we let it get this far. I guess I wasn't tabbing over to this uh, planet often enough. Uh, let's take a look at what our blueprint is. Maybe we'll get lucky. Hey, some coal. We could generate some more carb. Uh, I don't think I want that. Uh, we could go on the other planetoid, however. And I think... Did we build one of these? I don't think we built one of these yet. We wanted to build one of them. <laughs> we could build one of those, try to get this up and running. Uh, dumping some coal over here could be good because we have a coal generator there. I'm really uh, kind of focused on this right now. We are producing water now, so that's good at least. And we are what looks like pumping up, or at least getting ready to pump up some water here. So hopefully... I mean, the minute we connect all this up, we're in business, and we have water again. I guess make this priority nine. Get this out of here. Is that deconstructed? Yeah, get that out of there. Just get that spaghetti pipe, that spaghetti pipe mess. Just, just get it out. All right, now that that's getting wiped out. All right, we should. Oh, did we ever connect power to this? That's also needed, and that's needed pretty pretty quickly this isn't gonna do us any good unless we got that going up come on act like act like your lives depend on it because you know it kind of does you gotta get gotta get this piped out i still have this vent down here it's not connected but we could suck up some of this carbon and, and dump it to the other the other planet okay so pump is going that should go into here but also up into here and get this generating oxygen again. 
that would be quite ideal. I mean, they're starving too, which is also bad, but it's really bad if they, uh, some bog buckets are coming up pretty soon. Hopefully there we are. Got some oxygen flowing again. Not for long because the gas is backed up, but you know, probably should disconnect this gas line. Otherwise this is never gonna, um, keep that empty. I'm just going to temporarily disconnect it to empty that out. All right. We got a food situation over here. It says there's calories on the map, but I bet you it's like this where it's restricted or blocked off and we can't actually get to it right now. So let's activate this. Uh Oh, golding is not good. What are you doing? How are you getting? All right. I still don't understand how they're getting there and then losing their suits. I thought we disabled both buildings. Maybe it wasn't disabled yet. And that was the problem. I'm not 100% sure. But, all right. Food-wise, let's go ahead and get rid of this last hexalent. That's kind of our... Oh, no, 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 no. We don't need to do that. There is meal lice right here. It's stale, but it is meal lice. It is doable. Um, there. there you go. All right, let's get some... Get some coal printed out here. There you go. Got some coal available. All right, so nobody's starving here today. However, over here may be a different story. Um, all right, the air is flowing. Everybody can breathe again, which is, you know, good. Food-wise, there is quite a bit of a problem. I, I certainly do not see uh, any food readily available. Go ahead and issue some just general sweep commands to the whole planetoid just to make sure everything's getting swept up that needs to get swept up this ice could do some good if it were down in the right spot uh let's go ahead and build some storage bins over here you put regular regular ice in there uh food wise i don't know these guys are still trying to chill the air but this water that's going into it is pretty hot yeah 62 degrees that's it's not going to do too well. Uh, all right. Is there any chance of a bog bucket snapping out of this anytime soon? Doesn't look like it. So what else can I do? Is there any food available anywhere else? We could try digging this out, seeing if we get lucky and there's some food there. That's at 75%. That's not, that's not changing anytime soon. These weasel warts are helping with the air, but the water that's feeding them is just way way too hot i have a feeling somebody's going to be starving to death here in a minute and there's really not much we could do about it not in the current situation anyway um we cleared all that out there was no calories available in there it doesn't look like we could try we have suits right i mean they're super low and there's not enough oxygen but there are suits available we could try to deliver some food here but i just don't see that panning out in time. I could try. I'll try. Just in case there is something. Barbecue and stuffed berry. There's plenty of that available. So let's go ahead and at least try to run that over there. As a matter of fact, I'm going to up the priority of this. to like emergency. Maybe that'll help somebody get over there quick enough. Somewhat ironically, I'll probably die doing that. There, I picked up a little piece of stuffed pepper. Send that over. I'm sure that's not enough, but all right. We still have starvation going on, but it's less bad. There's at least something that's not starving now. Uh, let's try digging all this out. Just there might be a chance something's in there. Hey, there's some calories available. I don't know quite where they came from, but they are available. I'm going to turn this off. Okay. We managed to survive another, another cycle somehow. Hey, we actually got quite a few calories over here. Must have, must have made it. All right, so we got this pumping out. Oxygen seems to be fixed. At least we're we're pumping a large amount out here again. So that's good. Let's pop over here and take a look at the situation. Looks like everything is, you know, more or less going as intended. It's not perfect, but he's going to be an idiot and strand himself there probably, I imagine. Uh, we got to build some proper... Let's get some proper rooms going. I think 20 four tiles that's the biggest bedroom it's right there but it cuts right into that 
Well, that is a little unfortunate as far as sizing goes, but nothing's permanent. This is all temporary. Let's go ahead and build that down. We can put a door here and a door here. Deconstruct those ladders and then we'll put that there. And then we got to get a, like a proper bathroom up and running too. Probably isn't the best spot to put this. But I would like to get a proper bathroom up and running. All right, let's look at this. Still quite a bit we haven't gotten anywhere close to exploring. Some more food down here if we get super desperate. I'm trying not to let it get that bad, but you never know. There's always a chance. Um, at least oxygen's not a problem right now. Maybe I should make this the bathroom. I'm not sure. We'll see how that goes. Uh, this seems to be all good, regular, clean water. So we haven't uh, we haven't screwed it up yet with mixing it with salt water. We will right here, unless I don't do that. Maybe I'll leave it like that for now. Uh, deconstruct those ladders. That's fine. Let's just just keep digging down digging down this way. All right, let's pop over to Fuelona. We got enough food to carry us over for the time being. These bog buckets should finish up. These bog buckets are still surprisingly growing here. Um, I really did want to deconstruct these planter boxes, but they're still providing food to us at the moment while this is still, this farm is still kind of screwed. Uh, this one is also pretty bad. This hot water is just uh, wreaking havoc on us. We did knock the germs down quite a bit, though. It's not nearly as bad as it was. Although, you know, a lot of good that does if everything's, uh, if we're getting destroyed as a result of it. Uh, I do need to put the, uh, you know, I'm not going to do sweep only. Because I want any sort of regular ice, snow, crushed ice. I want that priority nine, and I want that in all of these. And hopefully they'll pull down all the... The snowy ice here okay we do have more we have plenty of hydrogen available it's all getting forced up to the top now uh and then if we ever need to tap into this reservoir again we just build this one one little section it'll start pumping into here but right now i just want to keep this keep this stable and clean by um making sure that this always has the ability to pump out into here because if something like this happens where the battery doesn't need to charge all this hydrogen backs up and it doesn't go and if it doesn't need power eventually the pressure builds up and it, the oxygen can't escape anymore and it just stops working until there's enough need for a power draw now the good news is we have quite a few things over here that are <clears throat> requiring power at this stage in the game so like this is always running and sometimes this is running um why is this water still coming through here interesting so we do need to find a way to solve this polluted water problem um just finding a way to cool it down after we pump it up because what we're experiencing right now is this hot water is coming in here and it's just killing all of our plants and without that we're not going to have any food to stay alive so we need to solve that problem sooner than later unfortunately uh, also here, I'd like to slap an airflow tile if I could, but I, it doesn't look like it can. Maybe I'll try to do that. Cause I got I got to get this uh, hydrogen out of here. It's causing all this to not be able to work. So this is an area I could potentially could potentially bring something through to cool it down. It's at least a pretty cool biome to work in. So I could dig out some of this, and some of this ice would um, probably do me some good. I don't think. Well, there is some polluted ice in here, so maybe, maybe I should get some of that dug out too. Yeah, I don't know what why they haven't done anything here. Oh, do I have to like open this door? All right, submit bioscan. Can you not submit a bioscan here? Interesting. Well, I guess for now I'll just build a ladder up here, and at least tap into that stuff this way. Maybe we could run some piping and. I don't know, run this stuff up. Let's take a look at the water situation. So I could pump up through here, come across here, cycle it through here with radiant pipe, bring it back down, and then pump it pump it backwards to the way it's currently going, like delete all this piping, um, and then just reconnect over here. 
and just come through this way. Flip these around. Might do that. That'll help bring this temperature down because right now it's just way too high. The wheeze warts are helping, but it's not um, not exactly foolproof. And only a little bit over here is growing. These actually needed to heat up, but now that they, now they're heated up and everything is good there. Uh, let's build some airflow tiles. I don't think we have enough airflow tile. And stuff's just kind of kind of backing up here a little bit. We have airflow tile there, so we're we're fine there. A lot of polluted water showing up out of pretty much nowhere right now. Uh, food wise, there is still meal lice, so I'm not sure why they're not going up there to eat it. Maybe they will if they get hungry enough. Looks like she might be going there right now. Nope, she's running the washroom first. Okay, why are you not eating? Okay. Uh, let's disable disinfecting. All right, so let's get maybe a proper bathroom up and running over here because this is, you know, a little, little, little much. Um, let's get a door built. We'll have to move those power lines over there. So for the time being, I don't need much. But what I do need, <laughs> going to be a little doing. Then I got to get a um, somewhere to put the polluted water. So for now, I think we just get... Uh, Put three, I'll leave space for another one, and then we'll get a, um, get a sink up and running. Put three on that, and then let's get our plumbing pipes going. So we'll go up, everybody goes up and out. And for now, we'll just dump it over here. This is kind of already our mixed bag of uh, water materials. Uh, it, it will, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig this out a little bit. We are eventually going to have to do something about this. All right, let's dig all that out. And that'll at least get us a place to dump our water pretty safely. And then I need to get our water. I don't I don't love the way this water is running right now, but we'll put it. It's not a long-term water situation. That's short-term. So we're going to run everything. We'll run it. We'll run it over here for now with the intention of eventually going down over here and utilizing this water, which is ultimately what we're going to want to be doing. But we'll go ahead and get that started, and then we'll get a proper bathroom up and running. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get a proper bedroom up and running. Um, I guess I'd like to work on that next. So let's go a little bit in, clap down some tiles, can mop up the floors, soggy feet is no fun. And then we'll just pop a couple... Pop a couple cots in there, and we'll go ahead and delete those, and they'll be in business. Why has she not eaten yet? That's my question. I know we haven't built a, uh, maybe that's something else we need to do, build a uh, cafeteria. Th this is not staying here. I'm going to have to move this at some point, but for the time being, build a little water cooler, get some mess tables up and running. Ideally, we get some artwork or something, but... Don't really have that at the moment. More of a luxury than we can afford. Now, I could get somebody over here. Now, why would you plus nine machinery and then have decreased machinery? That makes you terrible. Um, we're going to get a little plug boy over here. Just get some, some supplemental power up and running, I think. All right, we'll let them work on this and figure this stuff out. She needs to eat... Her calories, I think maybe once they go under a certain amount of calories, they'll go eat. So I shouldn't worry too much about it yet. But we also need, I guess we could just build a refrigerator. <laughs> Even if it's not plugged in, we could still just build one to store all the food in. Maybe we'll at least have that going for us. So why are you guys both starving? That That's the part I don't understand. Can you not eat this meal lice? What happened to the Hexalent? not there anymore it was right there and now it is gone uh oh thank you died what happened i am so confused can you not get up here you should be able to and there's food right here oh no don't tell me i have it unchecked don't tell me i have it unchecked this whole time this whole time no you died because i didn't check a box well sorry stinky but you're dead You'll have to be replaced by somebody, uh, 
slightly more competent. There we go. Looks like Marie's doing all right. Well, that is super unfortunate. I should have checked that sooner. I didn't know why they weren't eating that. Now I do. Because I didn't check a box. All right, so there's not too much we can do over here at the moment. Got to kind of wait for this all to get built out. We do have to kind of solve the food situation now that I know there there kind of is one. Um, the meal root or meal wood is growing. So it, she's not without anything, but it might not be grown in the time frame that we need it to be grown in. Eventually, we're going to have to figure something out. There's some more meal wood down here and some more hexalent. So maybe if I come across here, all right, I can kind of prioritize maybe digging this out. Although I am worried about this uh, pokey shell getting the better of her. Let me cancel that. And maybe we'll just come with the ladder up here and go here and just dig this out first. And then we can at least hop up here, run across, get down here. I'll enable auto harvest on this and that'll get us into this little chamber where we have some excellent working. So hopefully we'll be okay. Now that I check that box, man, I feel terrible, but it is what it is. We'll have to let it run its course. Maybe we will get another duplicate. We can get over there. Um, a lot of liquid buildup over here. Just lots of mopping to do. Apparently. This is going fairly well, although this is not cooling down fast enough, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping it would. We do have some bog jelly here, so at least that's going for us. Our rations are not completely shot. Um, Let's increase the priority of this. I'd just really like to get this going if we can. All right, let's pop back to our primary planetoid and take a quick look-see at the, the current train wreck. Looks like the steam has really settled down. Still overheating. It's still super hot in a lot of places. But at least this looks less catastrophic for the time being. At least until these volcanoes start erupting again. All this heat uh, starts regenerating. But that's pretty well sealed off. It's still hot enough where people would be getting burned if they were headed over there. Uh, let's deliver these suits. I definitely want some suits to be delivered. Who is starving? Marie, do not starve, please. I would be very unhappy if you starve. We're at 90% on the meal wood. Is that enough or not? I don't know. Probably not. All right, let's prioritize getting this dug out. There's at least something buried under here. So maybe we'll get lucky and something will fall out of there. Just water weed, it looks like. Is she going to die too? She may. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't think this is growing quick enough. Uh, we're going to have to probably kill one of these and get some meat off of them. Hopefully she does it quick enough. All right, get over there and murder. No, don't go to bed, dude. Hey, hey, you're literally dying. Kill this thing. All right, top priority. Get it done. There you go. You got meat. There you go. Look at that. Calories going back up. Happy as a clam. Perfect. You might live another day. Probably not much longer than that, but at least another day. All right, so I'm going to do priority nine on all this stuff just so we can get down there. I definitely want to make sure that she has food for the next uh, next cycle. I, the meal will be done by then, so we won't be completely hopeless. This is starting to clean up uh, at least a little bit. I am a little worried though, because once this, uh, falls down into here, this is all just going to steam up again, but I have to drain this to the point where, well, so that raises an interesting, raises an interesting point. I think I'm going to have to find a way to siphon out all this liquid that's building up over here. I'm going to have to build like a water pump out of stainless steel and just soak up as much of this fluid as we can. Otherwise, every time this erupts or this, there's heat generated, it's just going to keep turning this into steam over and over and over again. And we're never going to never going to solve the problem. Uh, there's, there's like a thick band of natural gas building up here. We probably probably need to do something about that at some point. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, 
this is a little bit of a problem. We're pretty much out of water, which means nothing's drowning, which means that meat production is not happening. We're going to have to probably manually kill this stuff off until we get that resolved. So, yeah, this is just like one cluster after another, unfortunately. Uh, colony achievement earned. Let's take a look at what we got there. Probably got a couple things. I haven't clicked that button in a while. All right, perfect. Well, I think we'll put the cut in here for today. I don't really know how much we did, uh, but we are now having a crisis on our, our main planetoid because we're out of regular water. So we definitely have to start finding a way to siphon regular water over there. Looks like, I mean, there is plenty of regular water. I just need to get it up. And it is quite hot, so I think it's still going to be a little problematic when we get it up here. Might have to start converting some of this polluted water over, um, running it through this siphon here. Looks like I already got something going there. Let's just hook it up real quick before we forget, just to make sure that there's always something going in there to fill this back up, because regular water is crucial to survivability. They could just quick gander at this. Looks like uh, we did manage to get up here and start carving through this stuff. So that's working. I, it looks like I had to approach it from this side to unlock it instead of this side, which is interesting. And then uh, over here, looks like she's making the progress we need it to. So that should be okay for now. All right. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, see more content in the future, and we will catch you in the next one.